we try our own food first. And I think it's so important. And uh, even as you're putting your vision out there, you want to try your own food because you want to be proud of what you've put out there. And you, um, I think that's the, and I also see this um, as a bit of a measure to contrast between those who are authentic in their giving and serving of others and those who are not. Because if I'm not willing to try my own product, then I'm really just there for a quick cash or some, you know, popularity gain or whatever it is that I am trying to get. Um, and so we see that, you know, contrast in those who will really put themselves through the rigor and who really believe in their product they don't need to oversell it they don't need to put fear into people or use the scarcity mentality you know like this is the last one you better jump on quickly or you know time's running out if you don't pay this much money now you're not gonna be part of whatever it is um i think there's a difference when you really truly um can experience someone who's in their authentic giving uh of their gifting you know operating in their authentic gifting and and from a heart of um, integrity. Um, and I really love that. And I think when we, it, it sort of makes me appreciate the struggle even more because if I can struggle through it, knowing I'm gonna serve those people, it's almost like a boost of energy for me to go, yeah, I need to go through the struggle. It's worth it. I have to serve those people no matter what happens. I have to get through this obstacle. I don't care what it takes, I'm gonna do it. Um, you know, if it's the last thing I do, but I think I'll, purpose and our calling you know they really do live on the inside of us and i hear people all the time express how they have this regret right people will talk about regret especially at the end of their life and as a nurse i've experienced this so many times uh and people will often say if only i had done this or if only i had to, you know whatever um i don't want to live with that regret and i think on the inside of all of us there is that regret that's you know, like a little whisper all the time sort of nugging at us. Otherwise, we wouldn't have shame around the way we lived our life. We wouldn't have regret the way on the way we lived our life. Um, you know, we wouldn't have behaviors that have led us to compensate for not achieving that thing, right? People have certain destructive behaviors that help them to cope with shutting down that voice and, and moving away from what it is that they were purposed to do. And and so they, you know, make excuses. It's like, oh, it's okay. I just, you know, it wasn't my fault. It was so-and-so. And eventually all of that really, truly comes back to you and haunts you. And people know that. Uh, no matter how much you deny in front of other people and you might be able to hide it and mask it. Every one of us has been called to something great. And that calling lives within us until the day we die. Because again, the gifting is with our repentance. And so I think... I want to encourage people to live to their authentic self and calling, to really seek that out, to really dig deep and find out their true uh, value. What do you value and believe in? And then practice within that and see the magic that happens. It's not going to be straightforward and often there are obstacles that you need to overcome, but remind yourself of the value of overcoming those obstacles and the place where it leads you and often that's where we want to be, right? So envision yourself, envision that future, envision the five years, the 10 years that it might take. Where do I want to be? Because whether you like it or not, as long as you live on this earth, you're still going to end up somewhere. So take control of where you end up. Take, take stock of where you want to end up, right? Take stock of the years that have been and maybe you haven't been in places where you want it to be and you know, you're know you frustrated and, and whatever. That is part of the choices you made. And so you're the only one in control and you can really shift gears to uh, propel you into the future that you want to see manifest. And I think we can all be encouraged to know that each one of us can achieve it. And yes, there's gonna be challenges that refine us, that you know bring us all the challenges I believe will or are there and formed to really help us be the best version of ourselves. They're not a hindrance, they I think a um a bit of a like a step up i suppose you know when you go through a refinement period i've never regretted being refined personally because i've always come out being a better version of me and i've really appreciated that because as i began to do the work and look within me 
the freedom that I experienced, the freedom from thoughts that held me captive, the freedom from uh, even within my, my body, just this freedom that I'm experiencing to truly appreciate who I am, how I'm showing up. I think in every struggle, there's something we gain that if we allow ourselves to go through it, we really can appreciate it. And with our calling and our gifting and our potential, there is, there's a weight on that. And so that weight needs to be sustained long term. We were not designed to just reach our potential and then die. We were designed to enjoy what it is that the fruit of our labor will bring back. And so I truly believe, and I've seen in my own life over and over again, and with so many successful people that once you get to where you want to be and you've you know done the work and you've gone through all the challenges, you're then able to sustain that blessing. But if mm -hmm. I don't go through challenges, if I take shortcuts and we see with, you know, people who win a million dollars or whatever, how many millions they win, right? They go to a lottery and they win all this money. They're not able to sustain that. They're not able to utilize that in a way that is lucrative and that is prospering and brings blessings to themselves and others because I don't know how to sustain this money. I don't know how to handle this. I don't know what the ways are that I can invest this and make it grow, right? Because I haven't had to struggle for it. I don't even have an appreciation for it and hold no value towards what it can bring to uh, improve my life. I just know that in the meantime, I can see all the things that I can buy, all the additions to my life that it can bring. Um, but if we value something, we don't treat it so carelessly. And that's the big difference. And so allow yourself to go through the challenges and, and ask yourself, what is it that I'm gaining right now? What are the things that are shifting within me that are allowing me to even more um, embrace the future that's ahead of me and to sustain that to its end?